Well, hello, fam. Another uh, beautiful day in the neighborhood. So um, today we're going to be filming some uh, breakfast pancake sandwiches. So uh, let's get started with mixing up some eggs for some sheet pan eggs, some pancake mix for the pancakes in the sheet pan, and then I already have some sausages going right now. See y'all soon. Here we go guys, let's crack some eggs. Eighteen. Well, it's supposed to be eighteen, but in nineteen eggs and one can of evaporated milk. <laughs> Okay, six cups of mix. everybody so I pulled the pancakes and the eggs out of the oven and it's time to assemble Okay guys, so I snuck a piece of one. It was delicious. Um, but we are gonna call it here. Um, the kids are crazy and they're starving to death, so I'm gonna make them some brunch lunch and uh, then I will be back at y'all 
for the next one. Okay, so um, this is gonna be a really easy chicken noodle soup prep. Um, you literally add water and noodles the day of. Of course, you wait on it to go for a while in a crock pot overnight or all day and then add the noodles in like the last half hour. Um, any noodles you want, elbow macaroni or the little twisty egg noodles is what I usually use. But um, in the meantime, I've got all my veggies ready and let's start lining some bags, you guys.
Okay, so this is the garlic powder. It's actually granulated garlic with parsley in it that I'm adding in right there. And um, we got some, oh, Italian seasoning. Heck yeah. So this is the filling, you guys. The ricotta filling for the lasagnas. Um, coming right in with some onion powder. Pretty liberal on the onion powder. That's some tasty stuff. Um, oh, yep. Straight up whole milk ricotta works really well in this recipe um, when you're blending it up with all of the eggs.
Okay, so what we're actually doing here, people, is rolling right into a lickety split fast paced chicken prep for chicken pot pie coming up next. Can't wait to see it. Let's go, guys. Okay guys, so we are rolling right into a chicken pot pie casserole. And um, the day of cooking, what I do is obviously take the cover off after it warms up for a little bit and then put the crust on top. I just get pre-made pie crust. And then at that point, um, the crust can brown up. If it starts to get too brown, I can put you know tinfoil around the edges. but for the most part, it's a pretty straightforward, easy recipe, and I'm going to show y'all how I do it today. Well, 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 here we are melting some butter again together. Look like I did two sticks there and like a half a cup of uh, flour, making a, a basic roux. So what we're shooting for here is going to be our base for our chicken pot pie. So you want it to be chickeny and you want it to be creamy. So there we go with the first 12 ounce uh of evaporated milk oh second 12 ounce going on in right now y'all and um i went to grab something oh that's rotisserie chicken oh my gosh you can get that at walmart or sam's club now you see it thickening up into a good gravy we got a good cream gravy base going on but it's a little thick so we're gonna go in with a half a quart jar of our fresh chicken broth from the chicken that we just made over there in the uh, Instapot. Always save your chicken broth and bone broth, y'all. So I went in with the whole second half of that quart. Looks like an entire quart jar of chicken broth from the fresh chicken that we're using in this recipe. I'm whisking it on out. Now what I'm seeing, y'all, as I'm whisking it in is that it's still just not quite there. So here we come with some half and half adding in that cream half and half um, always keep that on hand for the coffee but it comes in hand when you got these cream recipes also kind of amps up that flavor i love the flavor of half and half or heavy whipping cream even would do in this recipe or whole milk you know evaporated milk just like whole milk looks like i came in for a splash more now with this recipe you want it to be oh what's that garlic yeah garlic onion pepper that looks like some uh, poultry seasoning. Probably some thyme went in there. You want it to be thicker because your vegetables are going to be carrying some water content. So always make your gravy for this recipe a little bit thicker than it needs to be. Alright, so I'm opening up some cans of cream of mushroom it looks like. And, oh, 
<laughs> and cream of chicken soup to go into the actual vegetable mix. I opened up several pounds of vegetables there and uh, gonna give that a big old stir together and then we are gonna add our cream base into this whole entire vegetable base.
Okay, well, that's all the chicken I had for tonight. I was gonna do the sausage, but it's already like 12.30 a.m. on a school night, and I have to be up in six hours, so <laughs> we will continue this tomorrow. We'll get the sausage, broccoli, mac and cheese going again. That was a crowd pleaser every time, and um, yeah, I've got some breakfast sandwiches I'm gonna do, so <laughs> stay tuned for the next coming up right now. Hey, 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 everybody. So it is a new day and I put some of the chicken pot pies in the oven for dinner. So let's pull those puppies out and see what they look like. I was so tempted to walk in with like a voice like this. I was so tempted to walk in. What's your horn? Is that you want the volume on? Yeah, I do. Why? Good to have you out here. I also want to, Bella. Well, I was supposed to walk in and be and be like, uh, why don't you feed me? Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 So, I'm going to let these sit, let the juices in them settle, let them come together, and um, I will say they went an hour and 10 at 350 covered, uncovered 425 for 15 minutes, and came out beautifully. They were not frozen, so if you're cooking these from frozen, you just thaw them in the fridge the night before or add some baking time. <laughs> well, hey, 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 everybody. <laughs> um, it has been a very rough week for the homestead. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's been chaotic. So I got started on some new meds, some new insulin, and it threw me all out of whack. Uh, it got started six days ago, so <laughs> tomorrow is day seven, and I have to retake it again every seven days. So today's the first day I felt normal enough to do anything. So we're going to cook. Yay! <laughs> um, I do have some videos from last week that haven't been uploaded, so we'll start the video with that. So you've already seen that. By the time you get to this, you've already seen that. So we're gonna roll right into some macaroni and cheese. Um, I did make the beef stew. You saw I made the beef stew packets. I threw that in my big roaster oven last night and it is cooking and mushing and blending overnight. I wait till this morning, well this afternoon. And I put in the potatoes. Now why this afternoon, you say? Well, because the plumbers have been here all day. I mean, it wouldn't be a normal week of just me being sick. We would also happen to have a pipe collapse under the slab, underneath the house, causing our drain in the basement to whoosh, overflow. And so we've had water people out here. We had dealing with insurance, dealing with plumbers and getting quotes from different plumbers. They're gonna tear up like a quarter of our basement and rip the concrete out and replace a pipe that has to be replaced. So it's, it's gonna be intense. <laughs> I thought maybe I'll probably actually film them working, like not them, but film the pipe like coming out like before and middle and after, and that way you can watch them. I think that'll be fun. Like put it in fast mode and watch them excavate my basement. Excavating AAP's basement. 
what will we find under there? No. <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, without further ado, let's move on down over here to some macaroni and cheese homemade and uh, talk about the epic fail that I just had. And then uh, let's get that going in the oven, y'all. Complete and utter epic fail, meaning that I. I tried, I tried to use my mandolin slicer, my pretty little slicer, um, to hold the cheese and just hand grate it to perfection. And I mean, I got some really pretty like julienne cheese. Okay, this is not meant for cheese. This is an anti-cheese grater. <laughs> this grater is officially permanently made for vegetables only like don't try to grate there I found the camera is that yeah you're the camera don't try to grate cheese with this thing it's made only for vegetables from now on oh it looks pretty on camera look at that cheese yeah so we're going back to the old school grater
put it in the oven. 350 for an hour and check it. Okay, so that was my grandma's macaroni and cheese. And yes, she taught me to use my hands on the butter. It's what I've always done. Gotta jump in the pot with the butter, make sure it gets in all the nooks and crannies. Um, leave this covered for the, almost basically the full hour. It probably um, will take almost a whole hour to bake. I'll remove the lid about 50 minutes in and just check on it and see what it looks like. Um, these crock pots, they cook and bake a lot different. They're more insulated um, than the old, you know, the regular metal pans or the glass ones. So if you're only doing a pound macaroni, then maybe check it after 45 minutes and just see where you're looking. Um, but in fact, I actually probably will check it in 45, but um, it's not, you know, super thick. If I were to do a two pound, I wouldn't be able to use that particular pan. Um, I'd have to go into a big pan. Obviously, if it's thicker, it's going to take longer to cook for the middle to cook. Um, so just keep an eye on it. And uh, yeah, I use four eggs and I use 24 ounces. Um, so three full cups of milk, um, four eggs and then salt, pepper, and two pounds of cheese to do one pound of noodles. <laughs> so uh, yeah, stay tuned and we'll have a reveal shortly. And then I'll also show y'all what the beef stew is looking like in just a bit. Thanks so much y'all. Hey guys, so I just took the macaroni out of the oven. Oh yeah, okay, and dun, 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 dun. the beef stew. So um, I put the potatoes in this morning. The carrots I put in last night with the celery and the onions and the meat. And um, <laughs> the meat is falling apart beautifully. So um, I've got some rice going and we're going to have the beef stew with the carrots and potatoes and meat over rice with some macaroni for dinner. So um, good to see everybody and I hope you're all doing amazingly well and thank you for your prayers and concerns and um, keep emails coming and we will be back at it pretty soon guys. So I was just going to record the first scoop of macaroni.